Welcome to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Men's Soccer Media Day. I'm Eric Berger, color commentator for the Kansas City Comets of the Major Arena Soccer League. Today, we are happy to be joined by first-year head coach at Evangel University, Kyle Beard, and Anthony Morales. How are you both doing today? Good, good. How yourself? Doing good. Thanks for being here. Let's start with you, Coach Beard. Coach, you were hired last December to lead the Ballard. How have the first few months been in Springfield? Oh, Springfield's a great place. I mean, that's a big reason we, we decided to come. Um, this conference um, is really exciting. It's, the, it's, it's actually the number one conference in America for men's soccer right now in the NEI. Um, and it was just a great moment for us to get into that and, and to, to be a part of something fun. So um, we, we love that. We love that opportunity. And like I said, we really like being in Springfield. It's a nice place. So let's talk about the, uh, the kickoff this season. How excited are you, Coach, uh, you and your staff, to get started with this new squad in 2022? Really, really excited. Um, coming into January, you never know what you're, what you're going to get. Um, and we had quite a few returners coming back, wanting to come back, and actually uh, made them try out. And the response was awesome. Um, Anthony was one of those guys that came out. And you know, they, had a, they had a rough season last season. There was a lot of things that happened. Um, whatever the case, it, it was really poor. And so you, you don't know what, what was going to happen. Those guys performed. I raised the standard really, really high for these guys when it came down to fitness, when it came down to what we expected technically on the field. And it was nearly 90% fitness test passing. Um, everything that we asked them to do on the field, we completely changed the formation. And everything that we did, they were ready to learn, ready to do it. And uh, so that going into the spring, we played against a very competitive Division II team, tied them. And that's actually the first positive points for this team in over a year. And so that kind of shows you the same personnel that was there really stepped up to the plate. And we are bringing in about 12 new recruits, several junior college guys are going to help us get where we want to be. Um, and so it's, you know, you don't, you don't want to count the eggs before they hatch, but we're really excited about this team. Very good. Let's pivot to Anthony. Goalkeepers Unite had to say that. Tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself, Anthony. What year are you in school and what is your hometown? Uh, so I'm currently a junior, and I'm from uh, Destin, Florida. So as you head into the new season, you have a new coach, obviously, in a new system, as he mentioned. How much are you looking forward to playing with Coach Beard and in this new system? I mean, just from the spring game itself, I mean, it was such a change of pace that we've all been, we've all been needing for a while now. So now that we finally got that push that we all needed and wanted, especially with some of our bigger players that just needed the little – push over the edge to become better. We've gotten that with our new coach Beard here. And uh, we're, we're all excited. I mean, the whole team is super pumped for this upcoming season. Well, as I'm sure they tell you all the time on campus, uh, the heart's committed to student athletes, student first. What is your major and what are your, some of your career ambitions after your college soccer career ends? So currently I'm an exercise science major. Uh, the plan is to uh, hopefully get accepted into a PA school after I graduate here and uh, from then hopefully become a PA. So, so back to you, Coach, as you prepare your team over the next few weeks, once you get into the game schedule, what do you hope a Coach Beard, Evangel, Valor led team looks like on the field? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the things that we're trying to instill right now are discipline. Um, to not let anything affect them negatively because there's things that are going to happen. Errors happen. Um, it's not a disaster to be focused, to play for each other. And so when we get in, like you asked, uh, when we get into the, to the, you know, the mid season, right before conference, and then of course spilling over into conference, we just want them to stay focused on what our goals are. Um, we're not worried about the past, certainly. And we're not worried about the mistakes that we've made. Matter of fact, we've told them to become the team they need to, to be. They're going to make mistakes and it's how we recover from them. So, you know, like, like you asked, if we get into the middle of it and those are the things that we're focused on and we're playing smarter and we're playing better, that's what we're looking for this year. That's our main concern. So, coaches, you've started collegiate programs at other stops in your career and Evangel has a fairly new soccer program. What do you hope to take with you from your experience at your other schools and bring to the ballot? I mean, in some ways they're similar. The places I've been in some ways extremely different. Um, you know, to give them credit where it's due, Evangel is very focused on being a competitive program in every one of their sports. And uh, that was a big reason why I decided to come. I want to be a part of that. Um, and, and so I've got a great support staff from the administrative side. And we, we want to mirror the other teams that are here, like our basketball team going to the national tournament. 
um, last year. I mean, that was first year coach, right? So a little bit of pressure on me to perform. So uh, we, we definitely want to mirror that. But, you know, we, we just want to be a team that starts to build foundations that are going to last over the next 10 years. Um, and we've sat with captains with, with our leadership council and talked about, you know, it's all on our shoulders. You know, it may not be national championships this year or next year, but it's, it's so that we can be building towards that and, and toward being a competitive program. So that's really what our focus is. And, and that, that's what I've brought to other teams that I've been at. And, you know, like I said, some similarities, some differences, but we want to build a competitive program that young men want to be a part of. And so that starts right now. It starts this year. And, and that'll, we'll, we'll see the ending factor. Maybe we get back on with you in January and talk about what happened and, and where we're going. But that, that's our goal. So, so coaches, you said earlier you're joining arguably the best conference in the NAIA with three of the last four NAIA national champions in the league. As you prepare for the upcoming season, what do you hope to see in the non-conference schedule to help get your squad ready for hard play? Yeah, well said. I mean, our, our non-conference is very competitive, um, and that was purposely done to, to get us ready for that. So uh, we're going to put ourselves under – a lot of different situations on purpose, even if we're not necessarily seeing it always on the field. Um, we're going to try our system, and then we're going to have a transitional system uh, purposely getting ready for those teams. We know them. Um, I've seen them before in the other conferences I've been in, and they're they're not sleeping. You know, they, they are trying to win another one. They want to they win that fifth national title uh, for some of them. And, and so we, we're getting ready to be monster hunters. You know, that's the best way to say it. We, we're not going to be scared of it. We're going to go in as clean as we can and getting better with every mistake that we make and being ready for the next team. So, you know, the good and bad of this conference is every team you face is a potential top 25 team, top 10 team. And so we, we will literally have a Thursday game that's getting us ready for a top 25 opponent on Saturday. So that's the mentality we've got to have. Um, and, and honestly, as a coach, that kind of makes your job easier. You don't get to have a downtime. You don't have to worry about your players taking time off. They won't do it. They know this conference. And so that's kind of what we're looking at going in. That's a great question. So Anthony, as you reflect on your career at Evangel, what does it mean to you to put on that Evangel uniform each game day and play the sport you love? I mean, it's always been, it's always been a goal of mine growing up from playing at the club level to high school to now. I mean, I always wanted to go play college soccer and to get the chance to do that for Evangel and Get to wear the badge on my chest is it's an honor i mean i take a lot of pride in being here uh forget the past or what's going on now i mean i i love the school and i love to be able to play for it coach we're asking each head coach this same question what is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear part of america athletic conference soccer uh world beater <laughs> the the best yeah so that, that's the first thing very good. Coach Baird and Anthony, thank you so much for joining us today. Good luck this season. Thank you thank so you. much.